Hello and welcome again to one of our brief uh, quick guide, quick tip videos for the ME221 ECU. On this video we're going to be covering loading in a base map. Now when you order the ECU, you receive the ECU, if it's come from us it will be blank. It will contain some basic settings that are probably not very good for your setup. So what you want to do is head over to our website, uh, go to support and you'll see there are calibrations folder and from there you can download a base map. Now the base map library is always growing as we map more cars here at Motorsport Electronics and as we have more people, you know, more dealers and stuff, uh, send us files and so on, our library will grow. And a base map is designed, you know, to get the car running. It's not designed to drive the car, you know, if you want to, that's your own risk. It's designed to get the car running on the drive, to let you, you know, get the basics underway so you can prepare the car for actual, you know, tuning of the V in the ignition table. That being said, you know, base maps that we release are from genuine cars that we've tuned. So if your spec is similar, then, you know, with, with, with checking for ignition timing and, and with wide band gauge, you know, to confirm everything's fine, you could indeed drive it. So if you followed the other videos, you would be at the point where you have a connection with the ECU. And here we are on the bench here with the ECU powered, we are connected. And what we're gonna do is, as I said, we've already downloaded a file. We're gonna to go to calibrations, load calibration file. And here you can see I've got an ST170 file. So I'm gonna double click on that. And when we double click on a calibration to load, you can see here we're presented with the load calibration wizard. Now, as we're using a plug and play ECU uh, with, a, with a wire loom for the ZTEC here, we can load all data. Now, the difference between loading only tuning data and loading all data is you'll see that these input settings and the output settings and so on will change to selected with all. And this is the mapping of the physical wiring and so on of the ECU to what it calls itself within the ECU. So if it's a fresh start for yourself, then by all means, you know, use the all. Generally speaking, if you're using someone else's map, you know, or, or, or you're using a, a plug and play system which is already configured, then you could just do tuning data. But for this case, we're gonna use all. I press select all and then press load calibration. It will say here that it will overwrite the IO settings. And if you have things like uh, different coil packs, it can damage it. So make sure you have those unplugged during this stage. Um, but if you're sure you want to continue, you can hit yes. Send data to the ECU, yes we do. And we've lost our map that's on the ECU now. So it's very important you make a copy before you do this. But uh, it's now sending down the calibration and it will check it back. And once it's done, it will be connected. There we go. So we can look now at the mapping screen and you will see that instead of a load of 70s in the VE table, it's actually loaded in what looks like a true VE table. This one looks like an ST170 VE table to me. And you know this car is now perhaps ready to try and run. Uh, but we have other videos that you should follow next on things like checking sensors, checking for synchronization and so on. But this is the basic first step to get all of the, the background settings in place. Things like acceleration enrichment settings and you know filling in the boost control settings just with something that makes sense rather than leaving it all with, with garbage. So uh, on the next video we're going to be covering the I.O. setup. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks.